have no idea what is in here. Usually I'll watch some unboxing videos, some reviews. I'll look at the BoxyCharm Instagram page to see what products might be in the base box, but I haven't looked at a single thing, so I have no clue. So this will be a genuine unboxing video. <laughs> I have no idea what is in here. So I'm kind of excited. I'm excited just because it's gonna be a surprise. But you know, you know the expectation that I have for the quality of the items, low. So, okay, the theme is sweet treats. And I'm not going to look at the card. I'm not going to look what's in the box. I'm going to just, it's gonna be a surprise. It feels like a tiny palette. No, what does this feel like? This feels like maybe a highlighter or blush. What is this? What is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a highlighter palette. Okay, Kinder Beauty. Interesting because there's Kinder Beauty box. So I'm surprised to see a brand with that name. This is the Kinder Glow Highlight Palette. Coco Glow Highlighting Palette includes three universally flattering highlighters and one marble highlighter, talc-free, cruelty-free, vegan. Great, good. Off to a good start. Uh, cute. This is cute. I'm not, I'm not upset about this at all. This is very cute. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and swatch these out. I have makeup on, but let's just swatch them out. That's the marble one. That's the lighter one. Medium and dark. All right. So one is very like white pearly. This is definitely more of a yellower highlighter. This third one I will like to try. It's more closer to my skin tone. This one's really bronzy, super bronzy. Better for darker skin tones, although it kind of blends into mine. Well, no, it's too dark, way too dark. I would like to see this on a darker skin tone, to be honest. I don't think that it would go over well, but I would like to try it. Okay, that's item number one. Item number two, it's a mystery for all. Okay, another rectangular thing. Lashes. Okay. I still have yet to put lashes on my face. The brand is Flirtatious Looks. This is the Monarch Lash Pack. It comes with those lash tweezers, which is useful. I don't have lash tweezers. So whenever I put lashes on, I will want to use that. So top lash is Baby Girl, angled lash for an iconic cat eye effect, bottom lash, charmer, round lash for an instant doll eye effect. I don't know anything about lashes. So this will go in my lash drawer, which is growing because I keep getting these things sent to me and I have never used any of them. I will though, I will. Someday I'll put lashes on. I just have never felt the need. Next. Okay. Some kind of, what is this gonna be? It's a, I don't know. Okay, it's from Eloise. Okay, so this is um, like a body glitter oil thing. It's the Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. I have one product from Eloise. It is an eyeshadow palette. I've used it once and I should probably try it again. I don't ever gravitate towards it. I never think about using it. I I don't know. It's just, it's just, I can't really comment on how good it is or not. It's just, I think probably my first impression was not great, but it wasn't terrible. I'll have to revisit it. So I don't really know a whole lot about Eloise. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that was the box. This is the product. This looks thick as hell. I have another oil shimmer body thing and it, like you have to shake it up, the glitter and everything settles to the bottom so you shake it up. 
and it looks pretty thin and you spray it on. This looks so thick. Let's, let's try it on my collarbone. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, okay. So that's that. This is so thick. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, it's just rubbing my chest and making it red. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to like be outside in the daylight. I don't know. Can you see? I'll report back. I don't really have an opinion right now. It doesn't really look like anything's on my chest. We have five things in here, right? So that's three, we have two more. Tinted moisturizer. Okay. I have kind of been in the market for tinted moisturizer. Just with summer coming up, spring, summer. I don't really wanna wear super thick, heavy things on my face. So I've been thinking about those like Serum foundations. This is from Studio Makeup, which is a brand I have never heard of. Tinted moisturizer formulated with hyaluronic acid. Imagine that. Hydrating, firming, youthful effect. Okay. I'm suspicious just because I've never heard of this band. Band. <laughs> My line always goes to music. I'm a musician. But no, I've never heard of this brand. Studio Makeup. Okay. So the thing about tinted moisturizer and why it is really weird to send this in a subscription box is because we're not all the same skin color. It's, um, it's risky to send this in a subscription box to people who have a wide range of skin tones. If it's too dark on the back of my hand, it is going to be too dark on my face for certain. It smells really cheap. I can say that for sure. So the color is honey light. I see that on the box, honey light. I am not a honey tone person whatsoever. Risky choice, BoxyCharm. Uh, yeah, it's a weird choice. It's a very weird choice that they would send a complexion item without asking me what my skin tone is. They have no idea what I look like. When you subscribe to BoxyCharm, it's not like you give them that kind of information. You don't tell them, like a foundation range or shade or anything. Uh, you don't send them a picture of yourself. They have no idea what your skin color is. Like I could be a black person. I could be a very, very, very fair person. They would have no idea. And this tinted moisturizer is not one size fits all. So I think that's just fucking weird. Last thing. Pharmacy. So this is called Honey Grail. It is a face oil. I should show you my face oil collection over here. I have not purchased a single one. They have all come in subscription boxes. <laughs> um, pharmacy is like, pharmacy is like Elemis and Ivana and Dr. Brandt. It's a subscription box skincare brand. Tell me about yourself, honey grail. So fast absorbing, luxuriously lightweight oil that delivers intensive moisture while helping to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I think is the claim of every face oil that I have. Nothing's worked yet. I have been using the pharmacy toner, the BHA toner that was sent in a previous BoxyCharm box. I don't really know if it's working or not. I really have absolutely no idea. I feel like my skin texture and appearance has actually gone worse recently. And I am just using the things that they've sent me. I don't ever really buy any products because I have so much stuff that's been sent in subscription box that I really have no need. I wash my face with a face wash that has been sent to me in a subscription box. I use toners and literally everything I put on my face has come from a subscription box and I really do think my face looks worse. So it's one of those products that they sent me, I don't know, or several of them. All right, so let's maybe put this on something just so I can see the texture and smell it and all that stuff. We're gonna just put it on my arm. <laughs> it is a little thicker, like honey. You can't see anything, can you? Well, anyway, it's on there. 
Looks shiny to me. It does have that sickly sweet smell of honey. Don't get me wrong, I love honey. Like a Miel is one of my favorite coffee drinks. I'm a big honey fan. But, oh my God, I don't know if I want my face to smell like this. I don't think so. You know, I can't judge because I need to put it on my face. So let me do that first and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so that's everything in the box. Let's read the card. We've got the Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. That's the first thing that is listed on here. This thing is retail value of $48. It's uh, basically what it says on the box. A fast absorbing non-comedogenic face oil that delivers intense hydration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Don't ever believe that. It's never true. Next thing is the tinted moisturizer. I went ahead and put it back in the box. I will never in my life fucking use this. I might try it one time just to see how off it is for my skin color. Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer retails for $35. Absolutely not ever. A tinted moisturizer is not ever going to be worth that. A tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with a hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skincare benefits with light, weight, coverage, and glowy look. Okay, it is glowy. You can definitely see the glow. It would have probably been super cool if it were a different color. It's definitely gonna be too dark for my face. And hyaluronic acid, it's in every product. There are cosmetic chemists who you can find everywhere. You could read articles, you can find them on YouTube, you can find them on social media, you found them on TikTok. There is a cosmetic chemist I follow on TikTok and she recently talked about hyaluronic acid and how it is best absorbed in your skin, how it does its job the best. And she said that you have to put water on your face before you put hyaluronic acid on so that it has something to hold on to. And I can't really imagine having your face wet and then putting this tinted moisturizer on. I don't think that sounds like a good idea, but that's how hyaluronic acid works because if you don't have water to grab onto on your face and hyaluronic acid will just grab onto any moisture and it will actually do the opposite effect which is dry out your skin and that's not what we would like. So I'm just highly doubtful of the efficacy of that product, but moving on. Eloise Beauty Get Gleaming Body Oil. This retails for 38, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This is a non-sticky, it was sticky when I put it on. It's not really, you know what? Okay, I wouldn't call it sticky. This is a non-sticky and lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas of the face. Don't put it on your face. And body for a dazzling buildable glow. This transfer proof formula is filled with ultra sparkly reflects to radiate your skin. It looks like body oil. It just looks like my chest is oily. I wouldn't say that there are any, I mean, there are, there are a few glitter particles. I'm not gonna use this product is all I'm trying to say. All right, the lashes. Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics Monarch Lash Pack retails for 38 also. I put these in upside down. I don't know what lashes are worth. I have no idea, I can't judge that. But judging the packaging, the packaging looks really cheap. I just... Doesn't look like it's worth $38, but I could be wrong, I don't know. They could be fantastic lashes. I don't, I don't know anything about lashes. Ooh, this one has, okay, okay, let me read this. Whether you're just transitioning into makeup or simply seeking an everyday, comfortable, glam lash, Baby Girl and Charmer are the perfect duo. Baby Girl is an angled lash perfect for achieving the iconic cat eye effect. Charmer is a round lash we created for an instant doll eye effect. Both are 100% silk and cruelty free. I didn't know that silk was a common ingredient in lashes. Apply your favorite pair with the lash applicator included in your kit. Thank you, that is useful. So Kinder Beauty, it's spelled K-N-D-R, Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette. This palette includes three universally flattering highlighters and one marble highlighter. I don't really know what the marble, like why that is special. It's still just a highlighter. It's just a highlighter. I think it was this top one. This top free buttery formula practically melts into skin. I wouldn't say that. It actually is really dry and it's just sitting on top of my skin. Just, just saying that's what's happening there. Granting a beautiful luminous look with opalescent pearls and a velvet texture. 
I want to try this with a brush here in a second. The compact size makes it easy to travel and allows for an on the go glow. Okay, sure, fine. Let's try this with a brush. Let's try this on my nose. Let's just apply this highlighter. Is anything happening? Huh. Let's call it a healthy glow. Can't really say much until I put it on my face, so I'm not gonna say anything. What do I think about this box? We've got the face oil, we've got the body oil with shimmer, we've got the tinted moisturizer, the highlighter palette, and the lashes. This seems like a summer box. Get ready for summer, fine. I'm over the face oil. I am not in the demographic of people who want body oil, super shimmery body oil. Tinted moisturizer, yeah, sure, that could be really cool. I will buy tinted moisturizer in my shade from a brand I know and trust. Highlighter palette, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna say the highlighter palette is my favorite product in this bunch. I'm interested in the brand. Just based on what I can see in the packaging and the description, I'm interested in learning more about the brand. Lashes, the packaging looks super duper uh, cheap. I'm not a lash person anyway. I might become one, you never know. I think that just because I've been so disappointed in the last few boxes, like three or four, my expectations are really low anyway, so it's like, okay, cool. I got some free stuff that I'm probably not gonna use. I will try this probably once, the face oil from Pharmacy. I will try this once, the tinted moisturizer, just to see how it looks on my face. Who knows, I might get really lucky and it might actually not look crazy, weird, dark. The thing I'm really upset about with that is that how many colors do they send out? How many shades? Were they all that shade? Because if so, come the fuck on. No. Highlighter palette, I will use that several times probably. We'll see, I might hate, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just feeling so pessimistic. I just need to cancel BoxyCharm already. <laughs> you got to see what was in the box. Um, am I excited? No. Do I think that any single product that came in this box is worth any of the listed retail prices? $48, $35, $38. Um, the highlighter palette's 15. That is worth it. Absolutely, I will say that highlighter palette is worth the $15. The other stuff, I don't think that anything in this box is really worth much. Are any of you surprised? I guess we'll see what happens next month. Nothing I'm really super duper mad about though. Like the previous boxes were more like, what the fuck is this? This box was okay, fine. I can see who would like some of the stuff in here, but it's just not really my jam. Yeah, I'll use the highlighter palette. The highlighter palette was $15. This box was, what, $25? So didn't really get my money's worth, but whatever, you know, you, well, you win some, you lose some. I, I lost quite a bit in the last three boxes. What I think I want to do is I'm going to do a video of all of the products. I'm going to do, you know what I might do? I might do an unboxing and pull out all the products that have come in BoxyCharm boxes that I have never used and will never use. That might be fun because there are a lot, but that's it. That's it. That's it for this unboxing. And hopefully you enjoyed yours. I don't know. Do you subscribe to BoxyCharm? What did you get? Was it cool? Let me know. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you for another video with stuff that I actually picked out for myself. <laughs> Bye.